Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to part two of Man of Medan or Medan, however you want to pronounce it. It is what it is. Yeah, so basically, part one. You know what? Forget the recap, bro. We're just going to get right into it. Cause part one was just kind of like an intro. Yeah, I guess we we just met the main characters or whatever. But right now, we're back with, um, I think, Alex and Julia. And they dive. Oh, there's still bodies in there. Never mind. They're just skeletons. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. Oh, is that what those pictures are showing? Okay. The turret. We can get in through there. Watch out for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first. All right. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh, another picture. Oh, she got affected. Devil ended deep. All right. Yo, I really hope the mic was not messed up just now. Bro, like, you see what I mean, bro? Shit makes no sense. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? <laughs> Got it. Ah, cheap piece of shit. Oh, shoot. Oh, that guy got the blicky. Yo, that sh scared the off. Oof. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That, that show was scary. I'm moving scary right now. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh, excuse me. Ugly oh, yeah, boy, what you looking at? Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you? Julia, oh, my God. Just don't touch anything else, please. Bro, yeah, like, why would you come, just, like, come on a wrecked plane and just start touching shit? Like, that make any sense? Good God. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. Maybe his wife, bro, but that's it. But yeah, yeah. Wow. What the hell happened here? When the look of things, they knew they were goners. Mm hmm. Bro, that's crazy, bro.
What's in here? They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. One of the rescue boats is missing. A lifeboat is missing. Okay. I respond. Oh my god, that's how much secrets there is? Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Which way are we going? We're going back? Alright, bad, bad, bad. Go, shorty. He's holding something. Oh, yo, this guy made me swim back all the way. Oh, actually, hold on. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Move. Ew. There's nothing there. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Unless there's something over here. Nope. My guy, move! What are you doing? She's really stuck on the door. That's just bizarre. Damn. Oh, we're going back here. Is that a bullet hole? I look a bullet. That's a bullet. Another secret found. What was that? Shot down. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Let's keep going. See, see what else they got. Oh, what's up there? Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Bro, we just gonna we gonna be regular. Kind of mm -hmm. It might have been a I pitch up out back up. Oh God, Alex. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I I don't guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Bro, what kind of... You're sitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come out, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. Bro, just say us. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Hi. This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, don't tell me they killed Fliss and Ding. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Oh, they just grilling. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now.
There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Hi. What's up, curator? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Ah, say that you heard. We trying to keep it good. You feel me? Trying to keep it good. We're not trying to do nothing too crazy. So we're like ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Well played, there, man. No. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I see <clears> it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. That can fit the bill. Let's be sentimental. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Reassuring. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Adoring. I love you, Alex. I I I Yeah. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. What it down in the boom boom boom? Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Nah, she was cock blocking OD just now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What 
What is him with the camera? How's it feel to be a man post proposal? Believing, honestly. Carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. Look at secrets though. That memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bobby okay, Conway Island. Like that is pretty romantic. Now you tell mad pictures. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro, bro. Sit. He told me to follow my heart. One, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. Ooh, that. Let's go downstairs. So, we're going again tomorrow. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Is this song on the same time? Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I was going for like two seconds. Go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Get that pad. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. What kind of f man? Tiger, we should get back. If I don't get that lovey dovey shot on my face, I know I'm a hater. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Just hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, mm. isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shush. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman, brutal.
brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. I ain't gonna lie. Nice one, squad. That did not scream. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. All right, bro. Stop being okay. corny. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. All right, bro. Yeah, I should have dipped. Oh, don't tell me those are the three fishermen. Well, Conrad might be dead. Yeah, it's a fisherman. I knew it. Yep, the ugly I do. But it's still the ball. That tape out right here. Come, bro, why is this shit? All right, hold on. Damn, son. You okay? I think so. Stop it! 
free. It's going crazy now. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. What are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. I'm tired, man. Guys, we got to get untied. Right now. <laughs> Shit. It's no good. What kind of weak ass kick was that? Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. He can beat up. What do you fuckers want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Bro, just be compliant, bro, because what the f Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. What are you lot doing? Julia, we're coming back. <sighs> no, the only reason I said no is because I, I thought they were going to get caught. I threw it like that. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. No. That shit got me crying. Sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Julia back? Maybe we can take it by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh, it's a curator. Motherfuckers! Why in a why in a car like that? Y'all see what? Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? 
They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. and see what they want to do with us. They probably mad at y'all stuff. I would be too. I don't know, I think I chose the wrong decision. Yo, Conrad, you're a bum, bro. You're pretty stupid. This guy is dead still. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Oh my god, bro. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. One of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo. Uh oh. We should probably just escape Tom. Huh? It's too late now. Hey, Aaron. You gave me your best shot. All right. Shut the fuck up. There's no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your-
out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. What a cork in it. This guy, Alex, bro. Follow ya. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just be compliant, bro. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Oh, almost got me. After number one, real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Whoa. Okay. We just trying to keep everybody alive, bro. That's the main goal. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. See, if you would have escaped, I think they would have shot the boat. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, okay, okay. So you just got to think about it. For me, I think about it. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna leave it off here, y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all in part three. Peace.